we get in uh, Mr. Uh, Narendra Dhruv Batra ji. Batra ji, you've been the Indian Olympic Association's uh, uh, president. I want to ask you, what are the rules? People are now saying there's a conspiracy in the weighing machine. There is a conspiracy in the team that was handling Vinesh Fogart. There is a conspiracy, of course, by the BJP and the Prime Minister, so that kahi ghar gold aa jaye to hum kya karenge. All of these conspiracies. And number uh, four, they also talk about the fact that if we knew she was 100 grams overweight, should we have withdrawn uh, her name before the round uh, or before the weighing in, so that we could have at least got the silver? Can you please tell us the rules? Can we withdraw our name and get the silver? Uh, is there any negotiation of that kind that can take place? I'll answer all your four questions. Uh, firstly, I'll go by the rules. I, I, I'll not go by the political statements because actually they're not making any sense to me. So what the rules are that uh, this wrestling happens in two days, so your weight has to be taken both the days. On first day, she was 49.9 kgs. So then she played the three bouts on that day. So you can keep on, they'll keep on giving you water, supplements, food, everything throughout the day because she had three bouts. So it's quite natural that she'd put on weight during the day. I think the lapse where might have happened is the two uh, fitness experts who were with her and one her nutritionist expert and coach, they should have been checking the weight continuously that it doesn't go overboard because if your body is full of muscles and no fats then it's very difficult to lose weight so she did the bouts today with 49.9 and when they went back and checked it was about 2.7 kgs more and it's quite normal athletes have that kind of extra weight and they shed but in her case because her body was full of muscles she could not and i heard a question that she was in 53 why she came in 50 see in i think september amit Fung this uh, Antim qualified in the 53 category and if she wanted to in the national games, she had to fight uh, Antim. So she opted in both 50 and 53 categories. She lost in 53 and won in 50 and went for the qualification for 50. So that's how she is in 50. She has not been forced by anyone to go in the 50 category and she's been participating in 50 categories for over six months. So saying that something is new for her is not correct. A question somebody said that she was sitting on dharna. She's reached the final. I think you should not be raising that issue anymore. That means she was fit, competent enough and all the past history should be left aside and she reached the finals that good enough. Everybody said that uh, she could not win the medal and this thing happened. In international, the rule is very clear. Even if you are one, K, one gram more, you are disqualified. This happened with uh, uh, Sushil Kumar also in the, one of the Asian uh, tournaments. He was 40 grams over and he was expelled. So there is a history of it. I don't know who the politicians will blame for the Sajish at that time. It happened maybe 10, 12 years ago. So I'm not going into that. For your rules that whether uh, if they would have uh, withdrawn her, she would have got the silver medal, no. It doesn't happen like that. If any of you have a medical issue that is checked, then your weight has to be checked. So she would not have got any medal even if they had a given excuse that, oh, she is sick and she cannot come. No, that doesn't happen. So, so uh, the rules are very clear. Conspiracy, uh, well, I don't see any, but there are people who can only see conspiracy. Alka